Let's have a look into how we can implement deployment pipelines in Microsoft Fabric. And pipelines are a really efficient way to move content between uh, different stages in an automated way. So let's get into Fabric and I will show you how you can create these deployment pipelines. There are two ways how we can do this. If you look at my screen, I will show you. If I click on the three dots here, I see deployment pipelines is this little rocket and it also says deployment pipeline. And if I click on that, I get this new screen. So if I click on new pipeline, which you can do here right at the bottom of the page, a new window pops up and I can give my pipeline a name. And now if I click next, I can customize my stages and standard, it shows me three stages, development, test, production. You could add more stages here. That's fine. You can also give them other names. And now if I would click on create, I would create these, uh, the pipeline. I will first show you the other way how you can create this. If we go back to my workspace, we also see at the top this text link. Uh, this is the other way. If we click there, we can also just like the step before, give it a name, a description, and we see exactly the same uh, options here. And then I can assign uh, workspaces. So it asks me, where do we want to start? We want to start with development. And I assigned my development workspace to the development uh, stage in the pipeline. So now we also have test and I already have a test workspace created. I assign it. And I do the same for production, assign it. So now what I see is all three workspaces are actually assigned. I assigned my development test and production workspace. And I can see if I click on show more what's actually in my workspace. And in my test and production workspace, I haven't put anything in there because I want to show you how we can do this, with the pipeline. So first thing I can do is I click on this button here, compare. And what does it do? It shows you what is new, different, or not in the previous or the next stage. And in this case, we see like plus seven and it's green, which means there are seven new items in the development uh, stage who are not in the test stage. And we can also see them here. So now I can click on all of them. I could also click on one. For example, don't do these two yet. And I could say deploy. And now these are deployed to the test workspace, which was empty up until now. And we will have a look into it to see what happened there. It was empty before. And now we see these. So now if I go back to uh, my deployment pipeline and I would like to deploy the other two, there, I could click on deploy again. Or you can also add a node, which can be really handy. At the top, we have here the deployment history. And if we click on that, you can see I made two deployments to test uh, five items. If we click on it, we see the five items and two items. And here I had a node. So we actually see the node there. You also see the status. So this is really easy to see what was deployed, why was it deployed, at least if you make the notes, and to see what is going on. If you found this video helpful, subscribe, like, uh, leave me some comment, and please also don't forget Reitzer. He also wrote an article about this. I will put it in the description. So if you really want to read about this and take your time, look at screenshots he provides, make sure to read that. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.